It's a LaCroix. I'm kind of ticked. I don't love LaCroix. Okay, here we are. All right. I just ran and got out of the shower, so I'm feeling better. I'm going to do the best I can. Here we go. Look at that. I got a little bit of something in me, right? Got some LaCroix in me now. It's just not sparkling enough. It's not bad. It's not a, it's not a bad product, but no. Okay, here we go. Okay. Why is Suboxin so freaking hard to get off of? And I decided to make this video because I was talking to a person yesterday, and they were kind of mad at me actually. They 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 thought I was, I don't know. I think I, I think they said like you sound like you seem like an arrogant prick and whatever. And and because they're struggling, dude. He's he's three months and he's struggling. Okay, and because I talked about how it's not oh it's not that intense and stuff and and uh, but that's that's but. That's just comparing to like, oh, morphine and blah, 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 in, in the acute stage or, or whatever, okay? Crap, I'm getting off topic. Okay. Um, but uh, I'm going to go over just kind of, this is just kind of my, uh, well, I guess it is my opinion, but it's from my experience, okay? So, and I am, uh, sorry, my voice um, seems hoarse, seems kind of... Um, I've been off Suboxin for, in fact, almost 16 months. I'm coming up on 16 months, okay, off Suboxin. So that that's just to let you get, let you know that, because I know I know the people that follow know that, but because I I don't know I probably say it all the time. Anyway, okay, here we go. The first thing the first thing that I noticed, uh, well, yeah, the first thing I noticed really that that was hard coming off the Suboxin. I mean, obviously, yes, there's the mental stuff. I'm not going to get into like. Well, you're gonna have restless legs, and you're. I'm not, we're not doing that. We're not going over the sim symptoms. We know that it's. It, it is what it is. Okay. So I'm just gonna talk about just just the reality of just why this is hard to get off of, in my opinion. First thing, overconfidence in the early stages. Okay. It ha I had it. Uh, that pink cloud, and I have a video on the pink cloud. Uh, it's gotten me before with getting off oxy's and mor morphine and stuff, dude. The the pink cloud has freaking bit me. I dude. Ugh. You know, it sucks when you think, oh my gosh, I beat this. I did it. I feel good. I feel alive again. You know, yeah, you're still dealing with some stuff, but you feel so alive because it's a depressant. It's a depressant. So you lift, I mean, it's just, just like when I taper off my clazepam now and I feel a little bit, it's, it's, just, it's, it's very similar. Okay. But then, but then, but then it, but then it wears off. Okay. And what, and what happens, what makes it so hard and dangerous? Well, not, you know, I say dangerous to your sobriety, dangerous to your recovery or whatever to your plan of getting off Suboxone is you get very discouraged. I mean, it is, if you're not expecting it, that's the thing is I really, oh, is expect the pink cloud. You're going to feel like you beat it and then it's going to hit you. And I don't say that to scare you. I say that to just inform you, just be prepared for it. If it doesn't happen, celebrate. It's great. You're, you're one of the ones. Okay. Just prepare for that. And that, that's what it just, it makes it freaking hard. It's just, it's a punch in the gut and more punching the balls. No, well, if you're a girl, I don't know what hurts. Well, I, I guess you don't want to get punched. Okay. Here we go. All right. I'm talking about, yeah. Talking about punching women. Oh man. Sorry. No, I've, I've never done that. I never will. One time I pulled an Austin Powers action. I, I was like, this is a man. No. Okay. Okay. Austin Powers, dude. That's a great movie. Okay. All right, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> I was looking at my notes. I had Austin Powers written down there. Uh, okay, I apologize. Hey, I slept like crap last night too, so this is just what it is. Okay, here we go. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I, I can't just make a video and not tell something about my situation. Okay, here we go. The long pause. That's the second thing that makes getting off the box is so freaking hard, okay? Uh, yes, the over being overconfident in the early stages and... Having the pink cloud go away, it puts and then and then it's like here we go, <laughs> here we go. Th this that to me, yes, it's not fun in the early stages, dude. The acute is not as intense as other opiates, but it it just drags on, okay. And that makes it hard too. That is a part too. I guess I should have talked about that. But it to me, it's the pause. It's the post acute withdrawals from Suboxone. Hands down makes it terrible. Methadone's very similar. Very same freaking st fa same thing, except for it's it can be even worse in the early stages. I think it can be. I don't, you know, if you jumped off a ton of suboxone, I'm sure it would not be fun either. It's never fun. It sucks. Okay, so 
But it's the longevity, you guys. Dude, straight up, it is the longevity of this crap. You think you're done, you know, uh, you know, you come out, you know, you think you beat it in the pink cloud, and then you didn't. You know, I talked, I know I say this, but, it, dude, I talked to so many people. Day 44, I beat it, I did it. Day 20, I did it, I beat it, you know, because it's like, I finally had a good day. It's like, well, that's just a good day. That's just a good day. In fact, that might even be a good half a day when you wrote the comment, and then that night you're like, crap. You know, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so just be advised of that. I, I'm sorry. This, I, this sucks. My, you know, it's just going to be what it is. Uh, sorry. And I, and I'm sorry for saying sorry. There you go. Uh, but it, it is, it's, it's when it turns into month five, month six, you know, and then you kind of get better and then it's month nine and you're like, God dang it. You're feeling bad. I mean, when I made my one year video, I felt terrible. I really did. I was not feeling good. And I was really pissed. And I talked to a guy and, and he was behind, a couple months behind me, and, and when he hit his year then, he's like, God, I feel like I'm worse now than I, you know, and I don't say that to scare you. It's just when you're having a bad day, you just get really frustrated and say, and you don't think rationally sometimes, but it, it's the long haul. It just beats you down, okay? That's what makes it tough. Don't be freaking scared, though. You can do it. I, I, I've done it. If I can do it, you can freaking do it. I, I'm telling you, right, right now, dude, I am so weak. I'm impulsive, all that crap, okay? But I, and again, I don't say this to scare anyone. I, I say this to just, just prepare you, just prepare you. And I know I got other videos. I know I do, but I don't know. I felt like making this cause I thought, you know, maybe this will help a few people. Okay. Uh, but, uh, because the thing dude, like it's so long, you can't just go to like with some box. Like if you really want to get off of it, like you don't just go to rehab for, you know, three months and then you're on your way. It's like, no dude, like th that three month, that is awesome. But it's, it's so much more than that. And it's like that. It, it's like that with, with, with anything, dude, if you're an active user, if you're been using for a decade of something, I mean, you're going to deal with withdrawal. You're going to deal with some sort of post acute withdrawals. Suboxone just is freaking insanely long. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you can't just go to re I mean, you got, you get out of rehab and then you, you gotta, it's like, dude, you got months of like, you got to function, you got to work, you got to, you got to learn to deal with life while dealing with the pause. And it just, it really freaking makes it hard, you know? And then if you're not working, uh, boredom is going to, is going to, you know, staying busy is so freaking big to staying clean. It staying busy is so big. And if you're not working, it could be, it, you know, it, it, you know, idle hands is the devil's playground. So there you go. All right. We all know that one, right? Um, but, uh, but yeah, dude, the, the pause, it just, it, it, to me, to me, the, it just, what makes it so hard. And I, I'm probably just regurgitating crap, but it just, it trickles down. The pause trickles down to your everyday life. Okay. Uh, for a pretty dang long time too. And you know, when you're a dad, a mom, you got, you're taking care of kids or something, you got to work every day and you got that, you know, you got all these responsibilities. It can seem it can seem impossible. It really can at times. It can seem impossible. Like, how am I ever going to be able to do this? Like, like I have kids. I got like, like, you know, I'm going to lose my job or, you know, whatever. Uh, it stresses you out and, and, and it can, you know, uh, crap. Sorry. man. I don't know. I don't know how the, I don't, I have no freaking clue how this video is going. <laughs> I'm tapering off of a benzo. Give me a break. I know. Okay. Anyway, uh, but uh, maybe I shouldn't have made this, but, but anyway, and okay, I, I guess I'll leave with this too. I'm not even going to try to make that point. I even wrote a few things down just so I didn't forget. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it this. This is the other, this is, this is the hard thing right here. Listen to this. Okay. Be prepared for this. Okay. It's similar to what I've been saying, but it's just, you got to hear this. It's the, dis, the, the deception of getting off Suboxone and, and I'll tell you like, you are going to, you know, you get out of the pink cloud or maybe you don't have a pink cloud, dude. Just pray, you know, hopefully you do. Some people don't. That's the thing. Some people don't. So they don't, they're just like in this freaking darkness just from the beginning to, you know, I mean that, that, that happens too. Um, but the deception, uh, it, it's deceiving because, you know, like I got really depressed between month four and month seven. And then I got out of that and I thought, okay, I beat it. I beat this. It's finally, and then no, you go back down or, but, but a lot of times this is the thing is it's day to day or like you have like three really good days and you're just like, wow, okay, I think this is, and then all of a sudden you have like six bad days and then you have six good days and then three bad days or whatever. And it just kind of, you just, you just, you ride, I call it the roller coaster from hell and that's what it is. Ride in the waves, whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's up and down. Be prepared. Okay. Just take the good, dude, take the good when the good is there, but just 
don't yeah don't get overconfident uh and and think you beat it just and i just said just so you don't get too discouraged that that's literally all it is uh, just have that mindset of a long long haul to me that's just right there straight up that's what makes the boxing so hard it's it's just the long haul the long pause so okay and all the little crap that i said in between i have no idea if this was good or informative i don't know okay god bless all y'all v for victory you guys can freaking do it okay v for victory god bless and salute